Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is specially made for people who want to join their career in the shipping industry. They either want to start as a deck cadet or an engine cadet. Or if you are even going on the ship for the first or second time, this video will be very very helpful for you. I will talk about 5 points that you need to keep in mind if you want to gain the most out of your contract and be a successful engineer or deck officer on board a ship. Keep watching, we are just getting started. So the first point that I would want to bring into your notice are the manuals present on board. Whether you are joining the deck department or you are joining the engine department, you have a lot of manuals present on board. There is a plethora of information, knowledge that you need to gather as a trainee or as a junior on board a ship. The first thing that you can do when you arrive on board a ship is to get a list of all the manuals into your laptop or your smartphone. And in this way, you can start to read one manual at a time and gain a little bit knowledge about every machinery or every deck equipment present. In this way, when you complete two to three months of your time on board a ship, you will have a lot of knowledge and experience about how a machinery is working or how a deck navigational equipment or anything is performing. So in that case, you will have a good education and practical knowledge for your future once you join as an engineer or a navigating officer. Second most important point is the tar book. If you are from the deck or from the engine, you get a tar book uh, from whichever country you are coming from and that tar book contains a list of tasks that need to be performed by you once you join a ship. Let me start with talking about the engine part. If you are an engine cadet, you can just open the tasks one by one. For example, your task will be like, okay, talk about the freshwater generator or talk about the purifiers or talk about the auxiliary engines. You can read a little bit about each part and complete your training record book. By doing that, you not only gain the knowledge from the theoretical point of view, but once you open the manual, you find a lot of information regarding various troubleshootings, how to order spare parts, what to look in a machinery while finding a fault and a lot more. If you are from the deck department, you can check the manuals related to the LSA, FFA and try to gain information about the various safety equipment present on board and the navigational equipments, the navigational machineries that we have on board a ship and that will enhance your knowledge and practical skills. These will not only help you in completing your tar book but will also be fruitful for you once you start appearing for your examinations. A lot of cadets and I am also guilty of the same. We, when we join a ship, we just start to copy the tar books from different people. We try to gain their old tar books and just copy it without seeing anything. And that is one of the major hazards that we commit for our own knowledge. Uh, it is, sounds very easy and understandable to just copy everything from somebody else's tar book and just copy paste everything and just do away with it. And sometimes the engineers are also really really busy to find out what you are doing about that and if you have completed all the jobs properly or not. So it becomes only your responsibility to gain the maximum out of your contract. There is no teacher on board a ship who will go behind you like in colleges and teach you every single thing. You are the one who has to run behind the officers and the engineers and try to gain their knowledge and practical experience while you are on board a ship. So remember this point, no cheating in the tar book and try to do that maximum by yourself. The third point which I feel personally helped me a lot is by keeping a pocket diary. The pocket diary will be your knowledge for life. You can use this pocket diary to note down important facts or practical experiences that you come on board a ship. For example, when I joined, I was given a briefing regarding the safety of the ship and what equipments are there about the live board, the life raft, the rounds about the ship and then you note down these small small points and you know what? When you appear for the examination from the government of India, then these points are going to come in very very handy and I am sure you are going to open your diaries once in a while and check what all did you write and what practical skills did you gain in your contract. These pocket diaries will not only help you in the critical situations if they arise again, but will also enhance 
your knowledge and skills which you require to be a good engineer or navigational officer on board a ship so keep a diary in your pocket and note down all the issues all the problems all the knowledge that you are gaining as a trainee cadet on board a ship the fourth point that we are going to talk about is communication with your engineers or deck officers this is an extremely important point and many times cadets skip this point totally they usually go around the engineers and you know they are just trying to wait for the coffee breaks or they have their minds at home or they are busy thinking about facebook instagram or their friends or girlfriends the point is that if you don't concentrate on your work right now you are going to have a lot of troubles later in the future so go behind that engineer or deck officer try to converse with them and gain maximum knowledge out of their experience they have seen a lot of years in the shipping and for sure they have come across various incidents that has changed their perspective and how they look at things in the shipping industry for example if you are working with an engineer in spite of just roaming around in front of him try to ask him little little points about how this part is working what is this what is that the basic theory or principle after running the machinery don't try to indulge yourself too much if an engineer or deck officer is doing some important job you can just note down your question here your pocket diary comes into picture and you can just later ask these questions either in the coffee break or in some free time and in that case you will know that next time if this event occurs how to tackle it this will not only increase your knowledge but will also increase your confidence by being on board you will gain a lot of exposure and i think that will be extremely extremely beneficial for you i would also like to add one small point that if you are an engine cadet or if you are a deck cadet then just go behind the ranks that have been recently promoted for example if you are from the engine side try to talk a lot with the fourth engineer or the fresh third engineers they have just passed your stages after clearing their exams and they exactly know what to focus upon what do they ask in the examinations and all the important stuff Once you talk with your engineer or deck officer they will guide you exactly what to prepare and what you can omit just a little bit because there is a lot of information and there is a sea of knowledge in the ship so you cannot go and memorize every small every fact so just stick to the important parts try to know the parts that are extremely important to know and one day you will find out that you know a lot of the things that are present on board a ship My fifth point is that try to respect everyone present on board a ship. Uh, many a times it happens that when a cadet from the engine department or the deck department joins, he or she is a little bit, you know, overconfident that okay, I have just studied 4 years of my life, I have solved numericals, I have done theory practice, I have done some practical experiences also. So my time on board will be very nice. But this is not completely true. Once you reach on board a ship you may find that there are various various difficulties for which the engineers or the deck officers are working really really hard and in those times it becomes quite difficult to train the cadet all the time when you have some severe safety issues on board or you have a major breakdown or major overhaul going on aboard a ship so what you can do is try to learn from the fitter the motorman the ab the os these guys have extensive amount of experiences at sea they have seen the best and they have seen the worst so if you want to talk to them you gain their experiences and the knowledge that they will provide you is will be very handy to you in the future sometimes i see that even guys from the senior rank try to approach these guys from the crew department and they try to gain their experience and help while doing some very very important overhauls on board a ship I have seen a lot of second engineers just asking the motorman for help and together they can overhaul any machinery on board a ship with a little bit of help from here and there. So in that case your best bet which you can place is going after the crew of the ship. And I tell you that they are extremely talented. They have extreme amount of physical experiences on board a ship and they have a lot to offer you. Once you go after them you will realize that knowledge can be attained from any person or anywhere and since you are there to learn or you are joining for the first or second time you have a lot to gain experiences on so in that case go after the crew of the ship and try to maintain a healthy relationship with them not only they will be your best friends on board a ship for knowledge 
but also in the free times they will call you in their cabins to play some games or they will ask you to sing karaoke with them or you can go around swimming with each other and have a lot of fun and games together so that will be something that you will look forward upon so in that case try to maintain a healthy relationship with everybody and respect everybody no matter the rank that is your duty on board a ship to learn and you are just going there for learning and you are not going to differentiate anybody based on their ranks or what jobs do they do as it is rightly said every small job on the ship is really really important to run the ship efficiently even if it is a cleaning job it is extremely important to clean the ship and maintain it in the best possible way so as a cadet try to do that and i think that will be a really really good turning point in your life so i hope you like the video these were just some five points which i have elaborated to be used if you want to become a good engineer or a good training navigating officer on board a ship once you incorporate all those points you will find a major difference about when you joined the ship and when you are signing off that's all from my side for this video thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe the channel so that you can watch a lot more videos coming on the way from the hotel and from my experiences in the ship thank you so much for watching be healthy and see you